Okay, here's how I use Conversion AI. I use a program called PostPace up the front for my initial research. So, I have a look at Web Designer in Australia. And basically, what PostPace does is it'll search for the top 15 in the SERP. And, uh, yeah, so basically spits out the best content there is. So the reason why I like it is it's just nice and quick. Um, you know, gives you the top, gives you the top fifteen, and you know you can quickly start um, knocking off, knocking off bits and pieces to to obviously rewrite. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, not long. Do 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 do. Okay, now we're ready to rock and roll. We're going to view the report. Gives you a bit of a um, uh, few statistics up here. And we just hit it. So, obviously, if you're looking to write a big article, you want to go for something with uh, obviously a big word count. Um, shows you how often the keyword was used that we've searched for. And. Um, so let's have a look at this one here. So nice little piece of information. Web design. Da 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 da. So next thing I do is so I'll take that. Thank you. And I'll whack it over here. Now we go over to a little buddy version AI and we're going to use the content improver and obviously look we're going to get rid of this stuff here so we're not going to use that but we are going to use this we're going to use these nice little chunky paragraphs here and you can set the tone of the voice in this thing too but for this one we're going to go professional we want to sound like we know our shit and here we go Let's see what she comes up with <whistles> boom so there's three pieces of content here that it's rewritten they're basically just obviously we all just use our common sense and go through which one we think looks the best you might have to rewrite little bits of it that's okay, it goes with the territory. I might take this big lump here, I'll whack that in. There's, there's bits missing off it, but we'll get rid of that. So you might have to add little bits and pieces, it'll only do so much um, per block. I'll whack that next paragraph in. Rewrite it. So I'll do up to 600 characters now, it was only 400 before. So, bang, it's just spat that out. So I'll go, right, I'll use that there. That looks pretty good. I'll pop that in. And let's just grab this last piece here. Oh, nearly, nearly fits anyway. Doesn't always work. Generate content. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Okay, grab this one here and whack that in. Bingo. Now I'm going to grab this. So I've decided that we're going to use that. As I said, like you might have to rewrite this, restructure bits of it. Sometimes it's pretty good. Like I, <laughs> honestly, I don't even touch it. But other cases, you're going to have to work some magic with it. So the next thing I do then is I use Grammarly Premium just to put the icing on the cake. I'm going to make a new article and so we want to be confident, analytical, inform. Um, so you can do your, um, fix up your grammatical stuff as you do. Blah, 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 blah. But anyway, I'm not going to worry about all that. We're just going to go, yeah, that's all great. 
what you really want to know is what's the plagiarism like? Now usually you can get this overall score up to around 97.99, okay? But we've just rushed this, so right. So look, it's picked up. It's picked up this here. Yep. So it means you might have to rewrite bits and pieces of it. Doesn't take much to fix, um, but at the end of the day, you know that you're not getting stung for any uh, any naughty stuff. So yeah, you've only just got to spin this around a little bit, and you're done. There you go, copy paste, whack it up on your blog. Happy days. Hope that helps.